Now, it is seriously, seriously hot in my office right now. You may hear like a fan going, you may hear all sorts of noise in the background, but I've, I can only apologize for that. I'm working like 30 degree heat. And when I promised you guys a second confirmed transfer episode, you know, I've got to bring it to you regardless of the weather, regardless how nice I want to be outside or I don't really make sense, but how, you know, no, no matter how much I want to be outside, I promised you this video, that is why we're here today. Now, massive thank you for supporting all the episodes so far, guys. I mean, the episode I've done nearly hit like 10,000 likes, which is absolutely insane. So we're here today with a brand new confirmed transfer episode. Now every player you see in this episode have been, has been confirmed, all right? So they have moved to a brand new club. We're going to talk about it. We've got six players here today. Six, that's right. And every single one has got a brand new club. Shall we get into it? I know we want to. If you guys could smash a like on it down below, it'd be absolutely insane. If we get like 4,000 likes, guys, it'd probably be a rumor episode Wednesday. I reckon Wednesday, a rumor episode. Drop a like and a thumbs up down below if you want to see that. And I'm also very close to three quarters of a million subscribers, guys. So subscribe me down below. Free of charge. Get a cap for date with all the videos. It's free to Decent. Now, I believe, guys, we actually have a transfer record, okay, made by a club, this most expensive player this club's ever signed. I'm not going to title the video transfer record or whatever, because yesterday's video was actually titled that, for something that happened pretty interesting. There'll be a card in the top left or right hand corner if you guys want to go over and check out that video. But this one, we got Tolisso, okay, Quarantine Tolisso, who's actually signed to Bayern Munich for £35 million. Pounds. Now, apparently, that is Bayern Munich's most expensive player they've ever signed. That's right, £35 million for a, such a big club. It's not something you probably expected, is it? Now, he is a free scorer midfielder and he wants a French spot in the national team too. Now the Bayern described the midfielder as Carlo Ancelotti's wish upon sealing the deal. Now Tolisso has actually confirmed like I just said that you know he wants this to get himself into the French team okay. He wants this as like his stepping stone if you like. Now Tolisso is already Bayern Munich's fourth signing in the summer okay after sealing a club record of £35 million from Lyon on Wednesday. 22 year old has penned a five year deal so it's obviously a long term deal. It's a young player. It's big money. It's always going to be a long term deal. There's no shock there is there? So of course this guy's got a lot of stuff to do next season because he's got Shabby Alonso's role to fill which is going to be very very difficult such a legendary midfielder Tolisso's going to have to come in and try and replicate the best he can but the good thing is about this guy apparently he was like a, he's a lifelong Bayern Munich fan apparently there's like a picture of him as a kid with a Bayern Munich top on and it was like a dream of his to fulfill which is always a nice story to see it's always nice to hear these stories happen now interestingly guys we've got another player next Liverpool have actually sold a player guys that's right if you're a Liverpool fan you may or may not know that Andre Wisdom has actually officially moved on to Derby. So apparently the length for the 24 year old's contract at Derby has not been specified but he will be returning to a club where he made 30 appearances during a loan spell in the 2013-2014 season. Wisdom has agreed personal terms with Derby and will undergo a medical when he returns from holiday later this month. Now he becomes the second signing that Derby had made behind Curtis Davies which obviously we featured in the transfer episode I believe two weeks ago somewhere on my channel if you want to go and watch that it's there somewhere. So yeah he's had a lot of loan spells he's been at Liverpool, West Brom, Norwich and he spent his last season okay with Red Bull South Salzburg, which uh, was surprising. Yes, the 24-year-old obviously feels like he doesn't have a future at Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp's obviously said, you know, you are a good player, you come through the academy or whatever, but you're not really for us. And yeah, 24 years of age, you need to start really developing yourself in the game. Liverpool fans, how do you feel about Andre Wisdom moving on officially? You know, obviously he's not been there for a couple of years, he's been on loan everywhere, like four different clubs. How do you feel about him moving on permanently? Do you feel like, you know, he never did fulfill his potential? Do you feel like he never was good enough for the first team? How do you actually feel? Now, the third player, guys, a player that has been in the Premier League, he's dubbed as you know, a bit of a skiller, you know, he didn't quite work out for him in the Premier League, but he's now moved on again. We have, guys, the wonder skiller Elia. Now, this guy, of course, let's have a little look, alright? He's been at Southampton alone in the Premier League, been at Werder Bremen, Juventus, he's been at loads of teams, to be fair, Feyenoord, his most recent one, but he's actually moved now. Now, he's actually playing for Istanbul Basaksehir. I, I mean, I can't pronounce Turkish names, so I'm, not, I'm really not even going to try to. That's right, he's moved to a Turkish league team. Now, he signed a three-year deal with them, okay, so obviously he's going to see him in the Turkish league now for a few more years. This guy was dubbed as a massive, massive talent, and it just seems like it's not really worked out for him too well. You know, he's been at quite a few different clubs. Juventus had him for a year. That was probably his chance to really, you know, make a statement for himself in Europe. Now, he's no longer a younger talent as well. He's 30 years of age now, so he's coming to that latter stage of the career, if you like. And I'm sure he's getting paid pretty well in Turkey, so he's getting a hefty salary over there, I'm sure. Now, he played 20 times in three years for the national team which isn't too bad but you know he's only there for three years 2009-2012 he hasn't played for the national team for like five years which is pretty insane so it's a shame this guy I, I would love to have seen him stay in the Premier League to be fair when he was at Southampton 16 appearances two goals I would have loved it if he stayed in the Premier League but he's moved on and we're going to move on to the next player now we've actually got another player who's also moved to Turkish League alright now this guy's a bit of a legend okay you definitely know the name Jeremy Menez that's right he's moved to Antalya Sport if I pronounce that right now the French wingers 
been capped 24 times by his country, is set to join Turkish club subject to a medical after only a year at Bordeaux. Now, all we know is the fee is undisclosed, guys. We don't know how much they paid for him. It's probably not going to be massive money because, like I say, he's 30 years of age. He's getting a little bit older. Now, as guys are aware, Jeremy Menez has played for lots of clubs, all right? And they include PSG, Roma, Monaco, obviously other French teams, stuff like that. He's done pretty well. AC Milan, I think, was another one. Was AC Milan another one? Yeah, that's right. He played for AC Milan as well for two years. 43 appearances for them, 18 goals. This is another player. This is a FIFA legend, by the way. You guys would have had him a few years ago if he played on the team. He's a FIFA legend. Now, talking about AC Milan for the next player, they've actually signed another player. They've signed like four or five this transfer window. I've covered every single one but this guy. So it's only fair I really, you know, get in there and I do cover him. Now, it's actually Frank Kessie, if I pronounce that right or wrong, I'm not really too sure. But anyway, AC Milan have now signed him. Now, it's a bit a bit of a strange deal, okay? This guy, is, he's dubbed as a pretty good player. He plays Ivory Coast. He's played 15 times from already at 20 years of age. I mean, that's pretty impressive. But anyway, the 20-year-old, okay, will join on a two-year loan period with obligation to buy a statement from the club. So, AC Milan have signed him on a two-year loan deal. If they like him and they want to, you know, they say say they pay him for a certain amount of appearances, they've got to sign him. So, very strange. A bit like the Salah deal. You remember when that, obviously, you know, was it Salah? Was it Salah? No, it was Quadrado, wasn't it? When they signed him from Chelsea, they signed him on like a massive loan deal and then they had like an option to buy him. So it's a very similar deal to that. AC Milan is certainly getting their fingers on a lot of pies this transfer window. This guy's 20 years of age. Huge, huge talent. At Atlanta, can't really hold on to him. So yeah, of course, this loan deal, I mean, it's going to be permanent unless he has a shocking, shocking career at AC Milan. But if he's as good as everyone's saying he is, he's not going to have a shocking career, is he? So yes, the midfielder, we're going to see bits of him hopefully next year. We're going to see bits of AC Milan in general, but let's move on to another player. AC Milan, I could talk about them forever. They're signing loads of players. Last but not least, okay, we've got a player who had a chance to join the Premier League with Brighton. They've gone up, but he's actually left Brighton and gone to Birmingham. It's David Stockdale. Now, I'm featuring this one because I've got quite a few Birmingham fans that follow me, quite a few Brighton fans that follow me and watch these videos, but this guy's been at a lot of clubs, certainly a lot on loan. He really, really has, but the 31-year-old is now left Brighton. Now, Birmingham City will sign goalkeeper David Stockdale from Brighton on a three-year deal once his contract expires on the 1st of July. Stockdale 31 helped Albion win promotion to the Premier League for the first time last season, conceding only 40 goals in 45 appearances. Apparently, he was named in both the EFL and the Professional Footballers Association Championships Team of the Year. So, he did pretty well in the Championship, and he's thought, I want to stay in the Championship. Pretty crazy. Either Brighton didn't offer him a new deal or something, I don't really know. But I can't see why you would do so well for your club, get promoted, and then move on and stay in the league you could have got out of. Like, that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. The only way I can see it is like, I don't know, obviously Brighton would offer him a new deal and it was shocking, or they just didn't offer him a new deal. So, the two other goalkeepers of Brighton, Thomas Kujak being one of them, they actually signed new contracts in the summer, and their under 23 goalkeeper also signed a new contract. So, everyone signed a new contract, all the goalkeepers did, but David Stockdale. So, yes, guys, these have been six new players who've confirmed moves to brand new clubs. I'm sweating. Look at this light beaming on me. The sun's out there. I'm, I'm suffering this. 30 odd degrees in it. it is pretty hot. So briefly, I'm going to go through the players very quickly and give my very, very quick opinion. So let's go to Bayern Munich. Now, that looks like a, a really, really good signing. Looks like he was a lifelong Bayern Munich fan. Looks like he's supposed to be replacing, who is it, Xabi Alonso. So is he going to live up to that? It's certainly a brilliant signing, so hopefully it can happen. Andre Wisdom, obviously, didn't fulfill his potential at Liverpool, of course. He's moved to Derby, a club that he's been at before. He knows everything about the club, probably. So good move for him. Good move for Derby, to be fair. Elia, I mean, he's getting 30 years of age. Obviously, he doesn't want to stay in Holland anymore. More. He wants to move on and a bit of cash for the end of his career, maybe. I don't know. Jeremy Menez to another Turkish League team as well. He's been at a lot of clubs, so he's moved to another club. Yeah, the Turkish League are getting some players, man. They're getting some players. We've got Kessi, moved to AC Milan. I don't know a lot about this guy. I know AC Milan are making serious, serious moves in the transfer window, so I can only imagine that's a good signing once again. And last but not least, David Stockdale. Why did he not sign a new deal? Did he not get offered a new deal? I don't know, but it'd still be good. So I've had to move my fan over because it's, uh, it's actually getting pretty warm in it. Like I was just saying. Anyway, what I want you guys to do is go over to so is it, Saturday's video. Check out the Saturday's video where I actually talked about transfer rumors from last week, right? And it's actually featuring the biggest transfer rumor ever. I'm not even joking, literally ever. Now, we actually have Cristiano Ronaldo who's actually said he wants to leave Spain and he wants to leave Real Madrid. I talk about that in so much detail, you wouldn't believe. So, of course, he's getting an investigated full tax, stuff like that, you know, tax fraud. Yeah, he's investigating all that. But apparently, that is the reason why he wants to leave Spain. 
and can't still play for Real Madrid and leave Spain. So he's got to leave a club as well. And which club is going to go to? Well, Man United are so say favourites in a minute. But whether he goes back to Man United and stuff, works for Jose Mourinho once again. Obviously, Mourinho knows him from obviously the Real Madrid days. They know each other pretty well. There's another thing, and I don't really think it's going to happen, to be fair. I don't think he's going to go to Man United. It could be another way to get a big booster contract from Real Madrid. He's done that before, I believe. So that's what I do honestly believe could happen again. If you guys want to go over and watch that video in detail, there'll be a link here or a link here. There'll be a little card. You click it. It'll send you over there. My sponsors get grip to probably be on that card as well. But yeah, go over, check it out. It's a very interesting episode. I recommend it. Anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Drop a like and thumbs up down below. Take it easy. Get out in the sun. Peace.